Estamos aqui, alguns, em Las Vegas, num local secreto que alberga a coleção privada de David Copperfield. Thank you so much, David, for sharing this amazing treasure with all of us. I think it's awesome that you're doing this. Uh, I'm so happy to share this with you, to, to have your audience see all the giants on whose shoulders we stand upon. And we will start by talking about the father of modern magic. Robert Houdin is kind of a big inspiration. He was a, an innovator, a technician. He uh, uh, created great inventions and inspired a generation. Pretty amazing guy. And the mystery clocks, which we can see here, are really an innovation that uh, broke all the rules. Mystery clocks, a clock that could tell time without uh, any visible means of support. The first mystery clock was this, where the mystery was, this is so thin. The method was that all the mechanics were down here, and then through gears, it would come up through this thing, and it would be controlling what was up here. Then he took it one step further and made a clock with a glass face. Then it went to the next level, where it would be a clock with a glass face and a tube. And then finally, the ultimate version was with a tube and two hands telling time. So the method was all of the mechanics are down here, and that would turn a disc here, which would turn an inner tube, two glass tubes, inner tube would turn, moving gears here, here, moving a back piece of glass that would control the hands and tell time. This is the first smart home door who Dan used as a trick in his house. This would have a sign that would say his name in it, and it would flip around electronically and say, entree, door would magically open by itself. So that was a magic effect, but now we have that in our homes, you know? So the iPhone of that time was automatons. Probably the most valuable automaton of Houdin's is this, the singing lesson, which was uh, an amazing story. She's going to teach the bird to sing. And there's three of these known. One is in the Musée d'Orsay, and one's in the home in Blois, and they're all different, so they're all one of a kind. The bird is, look at the beak going. And she says, watch your face. She says, no. She plays the music box. The bird listens, thinks about it. And then the bird will start to sing now. She says, no. Yes. No. Yes. And he gets it right. She says, yes again. And all is perfect. These are Houdin's diaries, which are just remarkable. Uh, just look at, the, look at the amazing penmanship. Translate, please. L'automate dans l'après-midi, the automata after lunch. Je reçu de Paris, just received from Paris, um, good news. I'm impressed by your talent. <laughs> and the handwriting is amazing. Pretty cool, right? Very cool. So pretty cool, his diaries. 